Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this Friday afternoon. Unfortunately, the weather's not with us. Um, but my name is Robin Grant, and what I want to do is to first let you know that I'm actually a franchise partner or franchisee, um, so I'm not employed by Platinum, but I'm honoured to have the opportunity to share both my experience and uh, my, a bit about my journey and background, and very importantly, the opportunity of Platinum when you're considering a franchise and how the model actually works. So as the, uh, the cover page says, how to earn a lifelong income of 50 to 150,000 pounds per year from your own property portfolio. Now that is a really powerful message and that is the core promise of Platinum which they make to franchisees that join the network. And um, over 94% of franchise partners that have joined Platinum have said that the goals that they had financially have either been met or exceeded by Platinum Property Partners. So three years ago, I was actually sat in a very similar position to you, where I was considering what I should do, what franchise I should go for. So without stealing too much of my thunder, I'm going to now go into a bit about that background first. So Andrew Carnegie, who you may or may not have heard of, is a former billionaire industrialist and philanthropist. Uh, that's really hard to say if you've had a few drinks. He said 90% of all millionaires became so through owning real estate. And I think in the UK especially, we all know how property prices have gone up and up and up. And um, on a very basic level, it's easy to understand that statement being accurate, because even if you take, say, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, a property that say was on the market at maybe 80,000 pounds, it's certainly fairly commonplace for those properties now to be pushing four, 500,000 pounds. So it, it is a, a very accurate statement. So the good looking one on the right is me. Uh, so I've managed to convince my wife after over 20 years. And uh, this is a little bit about our story. We, the companies that you see up there, they are the ones which myself and, and my wife Maxine have worked for. And um, within that, MGM and Virgin Cinemas is where my wife was working in the head office. And then latterly, we decided that um, she would be a stay-at-home mum. So we'll go through more about my career and um, how I got here and how I found Platinum. So how did I get here? Bit of a strange journey really, sweets and chocolates, then into pets and then into property. Well, I started off in the blue chip corporate world of Cadbury Schweppes selling sweets and chocolates and doing a bit of marketing in there as well. I decided I didn't really want to be just a, a name and number, so decided to then join a smaller multinational but privately owned company called Rolf C. Hagen. Uh, their core business was pet products, so foods, accessories, um, treats and the like for all manner of pets. After a few years of doing that, I thought, you know what, I can do that. And uh, it was time to take the plunge and do the entrepreneurial role of going into business with a partner, I hasten to add, and co-founded a company imaginatively named Sharples and Grants. So no prizes for guessing the, uh, the surname of my business partner. And that was back in 2005. Now the thing about founding your own company, whilst I thought I was a hard worker working for companies, um, that was nothing compared to working for yourself. So I found myself working around the clock constantly. And in the early days, that was all well and good. But I have to say that by the time we got to 2016, 11 years down the road, whilst we'd built up a successful pet product business, um, it certainly wasn't a lifestyle that was sustainable and I really found myself at a crossroads. I was no longer really excited by doing what I was doing and I always said at the point I didn't wake up and get up in the morning feeling excited about the day ahead was the day I knew that maybe I was doing the wrong thing and by 2016 that certainly came. Um, I can imagine some of you, if not all of you, will resonate with that to some degree, whether it's in a job or, or whether you're working um, your own business, there comes that point when you're looking for something that is a, a better style of living or a different way. So what were we looking for? And you'll see why pizza becomes relevant just in a second, if you bear with me. 
I wanted a systemized business. I didn't want to have to have the guesswork and have bad systems that made the business run me. I wanted the business to be able to run itself. I knew it was a new industry I was going to go into, so franchise seemed to be the best way to de-risk that as it was following a proven predictable model um, to get predictable returns. And certainly when you're investing your own money, you definitely want some element of safety and predictability. So it became an easy decision. Had a look on the internet and lo and behold, the following month there was a franchise exhibition in Birmingham. And our initial idea, Maxine's and I, were to look for a pizza franchise, not your normal domino style, but maybe something a bit more rustic. Um, we had eyes on something like a, a Franco Manca or that type of, of, um, of, of pizza. But we didn't find that. And uh, what we did find was PPP, Platinum Property Partners. And why we found that was a far better fit for us was that um, the fast food or even not so fast food style of franchise really wanted your heart and soul. So crazy hours, round the clock, ongoing was really the order of the day. Um, but what we wanted was we wanted to replace and exceed our previous income and to do that speedily. We didn't want to take a dip in our lifestyle. We also wanted a different style of life. We didn't want to have that daily grind. We didn't want to feel that I had to, I had to go out to work or work around the clock to make the business run. Also wanted to choose the hours that we wanted to work and didn't want to compromise financially. Now, that's a big ask. You know, how do you work a lot less but still end up with the same or even a better income when you've been so used to working around the clock almost like a, um, the proverbial hamster on a wheel, if you, if you pardon the pun, to, to create that type of income. And also what I didn't want is just to have a paycheck to paycheck. I didn't just want to draw the salary out of the business. I wanted something that created a long-term legacy and security beyond that at the same time. So I didn't really want a lot. And this is what we found in Platinum. So to take you through the business model so you can get a better understanding of how it works, um, Platinum is an HMO business model. If you're familiar with that term or not, I will tell you that HMO stands for house in multiple occupancy. So it is a shared house model. And to go through it with you, it's all inclusive and fully furnished. Properties that are high quality, they're low cost, shared accommodation, so areas such as the kitchen, certain bathrooms to be shared, but obviously the bedrooms are not shared places. Lovely properties in good locations for professional tenants. So you're getting a better class of tenant because these are beautifully decorated properties that appeal to the working professional that doesn't want to live in a student style or what was the old student style accommodation and therefore being on a decent income with that type of outlook, they tend to look after the places uh, appropriately as well. You could say that Platinum had franchised friends, and for those of you familiar with the sitcom, it's about six unrelated working professionals in the States um, who want to live in one of the more salubrious parts, uh, namely Manhattan. Uh, they don't know anybody there, so they can't afford to necessarily live where they'd want to live, but by the nature of sharing uh, their accommodation together. They meet each other, they become really close friends, great community, and they get to live in a really nice, luxurious apartment that they could never have afforded on their own. So the franchise system works uh, itself. I'm gonna do a comparison to traditional buy-to-let model. A traditional buy-to-let model, and the example I'm using, even though this may seem for certain areas a low purchase price of a property, this is based on a three-bedroom, one-bathroom, uh, mid or end of terrace. Um, typical location based on this price would be maybe the Southwest or, or the Midlands. But the model works even in much higher priced areas because the uh, rental income generated is equally that much higher. So single occupancy rent on this, equip, this, um, this example would be £1,000 a month. So that would be a family living there. The typical monthly cost would come in at about £900. Uh, that would cover mortgage, letting agent fees um, and insurances. So the monthly gross profit or income, you could call that, that 
uh, you would earn out of that property would be £100 a month. If we compare that to the platinum model, where with the same property, um, given the conversions that you would undertake and the renovations, would turn it into a multiple occupation, your monthly cost would be that much higher, of course, at 2,100, um, as you'd be financing larger sums of money for the renovations. Um, there's also more maintenance, of course, where there's been a, a cost of your funds put in. So let's say you remortgaged your home property to release some funds, there's a cost you on doing that. So all this has been factored in, and even an element for voids, when you've got six bedrooms, it's inevitable that you're going to have certain rooms vacant for certain periods of time more frequently than maybe if you have one house, but it's only a small proportion of six bedrooms if one goes vacant as opposed to a whole house when the whole place is vacant and it's 100% unoccupied. Um, and this monthly cost also includes the cost of the franchise fees. So even on that basis, the monthly gross profit or income that you would generate would be £1,400. So you can see 14 times on the equivalent property. So the model itself on an annualized basis would therefore develop 16,000, call it 17,000, just to use easy numbers, rounded up, 17,000 pounds of annual gross profit um, and therefore income. If you had five of those properties, the annual profit on that would be 84,000 pounds. What I will add to caveat this is that the reason it's called gross profit is because there is a, an underlying running cost of the business, so that would be your annual accountancy fees um, and other such charges or costs that wouldn't be allocated to one house. It would be across whatever your portfolio is. But the more you grow your portfolio, it, it really grows then that overhead at a very small, insignificant rate. So your actual profitability gets better with the more houses you put on. The other underlying side, which is not discussed in Platinum because it's more about cash flow, but it, it can't be ignored um, because it's a bonus that certainly the last 15, 20 years of property prices have proven is there, and that is capital growth. Whilst you can't rely on capital growth, over the last 15 years, for example, the average growth per annum, there have been some years it's gone down, In a, on average it's gone up, and some years there's been massive growth, but on average it's grown at about 2.7%, and that's been compounding. So as you take, if you take, let's say, a three-year window, compounding 2.7%, you're roughly at 10% capital growth on that example. So if we apply 10% as the growth that you get on the property price, you could say that £28,000 would be, after three years, the capital growth in value that you get on your property over and above the income that you're also getting from the rent that you're getting from your tenants. Multiply that by five and it's very easy to see how you get a growth of £140,000. Now, I know I was a bit cynical at first saying, well, capital growth is great and if you get it, great. But then that's not real until you sell. And if you're not selling, how do you actually get that? Well, that's the beauty also of the model is that when you're remortgaging after a period, whether it's a two year, three year or five year period, the property price has gone up and you can then choose to take some of that equity growth out of the money that you're remortgaging at. So you do get access to that money and you can use that to um, buy a, a holiday, to invest in your next project, your next house, maybe buy that car, um, all sorts of options that are there with that capital growth, which is a bonus. Or don't take it at all and you can use that to pay down some of the debt uh, some of the loan on, on the property and, and therefore increase the profitability as you'll have less finance on that house. Lots of options there. So some fun fast facts about Platinum. Who are they? You know, what makes them experienced enough to be able to have this model, this franchise? Well, since the inception in 2007, there's been over 370 partners joined. In terms of tenants, that's 6,400 professional tenants that live in the properties of the franchise partners. 13 years that Platinum have actually been changing franchise partners' lives, such as myself. And there have been over 1,100 premium HMO properties created as a result. In total, that amounts in, in money terms to nearly half a billion pounds of franchise partners' portfolios. 
So what is the difference though with Platinum as opposed to other franchises other than the fact that it's property based? And there are some really key fundamental differences that make it such an attractive proposition and, and why I wanted to, to join the network and become a franchisee. You own the assets. Now that's totally different when you compare other franchise models. If you take a fast food uh, model as an example, you have a long-term agreement, whether that might be 15, 20, 25 years. After that agreement, yes, you may well and probably do get the option to renew your agreement. But if you don't and you want to leave, then yes, you built some goodwill and there will be some equity in that, no doubt. But once you're out, you're out. There's no more income. You're not generating any further income from that business. So it's only as good as you're in it. It's effectively you're loaned the business, if you want to call it that. Whereas with Platinum, you own that property, lock, stock and barrel, as far as um, the setup between you and Platinum go. You're building a business that will work for you. If I don't go out for two weeks, um, that doesn't affect my rental income. As long as I'm keeping the properties rented and, the, um, and, and I'm keeping on top of the maintenance, that rent continues to come in. The model therefore offers a lot of freedom and flexibility in working times. If I, I love tennis uh, and I did have a background I wanted to actually use as my uh, Zoom, <laughs> so I couldn't show you Wimbledon unfortunately, but if I want to go out and play tennis on a day, I don't have to worry I've got a big business meeting or I've got to go overseas or that I can't get away from the, the office because everything revolves around me. There's a lot of freedom and flexibility to run the business and make the business fit my lifestyle. If you leave Platinum at the end of it, whilst you're, you can stay on as a, uh, an alumni partner, you keep your entire business anyway. So you can take the learnings, your property, your income, and all of it remains yours. If you develop further properties in the future with everything you've learned uh, from your previous ones and whilst you've been a franchisee, you can continue to do that and derive all that income completely unencumbered by any further payments to Platinum. And when the commitment of the franchise is over, that income keeps coming in. We are a rental market as far as the UK goes. There's more and more demand as housing still keeps pushing the boundaries in affordability for, um, you know, for the new generations. And therefore it is a model where there's a sustainable growth which will allow that income to be one that is reliable. So usually when uh, I do this at a franchise show, um, I'm able to make it interactive. So unfortunately I can't this time, but this will bring the whole model into some form of context in real terms. So this was one of our franchise partners, um, three bedroom, one bathroom properties, which she purchased. Obviously this is the before, uh, this is a family home and end of terrace. And as you can see, you've got a sitting room, kitchen, an integral garage on the ground floor. On the first floor, there's uh, three bedrooms and a bathroom. What I normally do is then ask people to spend a couple of minutes and have a look at it and let me know if you were reconfiguring this with a couple of caveats. One is that you're not going into the loft space to develop, and two is there's no basement to develop. Um, how many bedrooms and bathrooms realistically could you see you could get out of this whilst remaining compliant, therefore not having a box room that is uh, four square meters or something that literally you could not swing the proverbial cat round. Um, typically speaking, the best I've ever had somebody come back to me with is five bedrooms and two bathrooms. The reality of what was done here is, uh, I'll do the grand reveal now, is this, it became a seven bedroom and five bathroom property. So the incremental impact on income by knowing how to do this compliantly and grabbing an extra two bedrooms out of it as well as having the wow factor which this clearly has uh, and i'll explain very quickly in a minute how this was got to this was all done without any planning permission for the development works um, by having a larger number of bedrooms with bathrooms and a small number sharing you're getting far higher rents as it's a much more luxury product you're not having a lot of people cramming into a small number of bathrooms. Um, plus two extra bedrooms, even if you took the rental level per bedroom at a low amount of 600 pounds each, with two bedrooms, that's 1200 pounds per month of extra incremental income, 
which takes you over £14,000 per annum of extra incremental income just by those two bedrooms. And when you look at it on the fact that you've got other bedrooms and a lot of the costs borne by the rest of the model, that money is virtually pure additional income for, um, for you if you know how to do this. So the real works came with a rear extension done under permitted development, which as long as you haven't got restrictions in your area, which Platinum can advise on, is done to create a large kitchen, living, and dining room. The garage was converted. And then if I just go back so you can see, part of the space of the old sitting room was grabbed to create one of the bedrooms downstairs. And the top floor was completely reconfigured in order to get the extra bedrooms out of that and the en suites and a really nice large size bathroom too. To put this into a context of my own properties, um, I'm gonna show you house number one and house number six from my portfolio. So house number one, um, we paid 415,000 for it and did about 90,000 pounds of work. After that conversion, we managed to achieve a rental income of 23,400 from it. And a return on our money invested was 18.5% as we had the house revalued up at £595,000. That was in 2017. Two and a half years later, um, in 2019, we did our sixth project. We'd learned our model more and more, and more learnings from Platinum was teaching us how to add extra value. So we ended up spending more on the refurbishment as we had to do a loft conversion in this one, which we didn't in the previous one. But we massively increased our gross profit to get £32,000 a year income out of it and a 20% return on our money left invested, even with a valuation of 595000 So it just shows what can be done if you're taught in the correct manner and you follow the model. So the scores on the doors, that, this is, kind of the results which I've had from joining the Platinum Network. Um, I've been able to use my own branding, which I love that about Platinum, there's that flexibility. So Pure Homes is uh, my brand with a little strap line there, you'll room your home. We've got 38 housemates, our portfolio value, which has been revalued by the bank, all of them now, first valuation, it's worth 3.6 million. Our income derived before our underlying overhead costs, which are about £12,000, more or less per year, is £170,000. And it's taken us two and a half years to achieve this. So to find out more costs to join Platinum, how much capital may be required to build your portfolio, um, whether Platinum could be right for you, and also the process to join Platinum, if you go on to the website, which is platinumpropertypartners.co.uk, um, it will give you some of the next steps. Uh, you can book a, a virtual discovery day where you get to go into more granular detail about how the model works. You get a chance to look at some spreadsheets, ask a lot more in-depth questions, as well as how it may relate more to your personal circumstances. Everyone is different. Some people want to do this on the side. Some people do it full time as I did. Um, I had a real need to get the income level up and do it quickly, but it, you can go at your own pace. So it's a really great opportunity to find out how Platinum can work for you.